Hi beauties, welcome to my channel HI Beauty by Yulia and today the video is very different from what I have done so far because obviously yes now most of the salons at least here in UK the salons are open and you can have facials but we are quite busy and maybe money are not something that we can spend for facial I have decided to give you an idea how you can pamper yourself at home as a true professional so today I will show you how you can cleanse your face, what products I am using, a few suggestions. I will show you how you can massage your face as well. Now, <laughs> I look absolutely ridiculous. I've changed into something a bit more easier to get rid of my makeup, but <laughs> it just looks so silly. <laughs> now, this is my coconut oil. Um, I get quite a big volume of coconut oil and in order to work easily with it i just move it into this kind of jar and i keep it in the fridge we rub it and then we start <laughs> as a cleanser especially as a first cleanser is something that is suitable for everyone now the reason why i i used it is because in two great job now i have a lot of makeup i mean i had i still have but my point is that i am doing this video with full face makeup so that you can see in the worst case scenario how great it will do the job now you can see now with my eyelashes one gone we're gonna rub a little bit more the other one no pulling no pain nothing here you go and the other one is gone we continue to rub 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 and then just use sponges clean dry obviously different with every single day a bit of water and very gently remove the mess that i created <laughs> cleanser I'm gonna use a product oil the main difference between natural type of oils like this one coconut oil and products like oils that you can buy is there you go <laughs> is that these one have surfactants inside so they will bind with what is left from my makeup, dead skin, dirt, the coconut oil will be able to lift it from the skin and then will be washed with the water. When you oil cleanse, you have to make sure that your skin is dry and just massage very gently. So you have to pay attention to ears, and very close to the hair because sometimes there's leftovers of makeup and dirt and everything else and that's why you might have some breakouts in the area so recently i made quite a few changes in my skincare routine and I started using quite a few Korean brands. I do blame them because I started using toners and mists and the last time that I bought this type of product was when I was probably 14, 15, not more than this. So that's about 20 years ago. It's Sior's. Uh, feel so fresh donor and I 
love it because today we are doing more of a treatment than just my night care I will wipe it over my face instead of just pouring it into my palms and just applying it over my face and you can use obviously cotton pads I use those one they're reusable <laughs> So yeah, you can probably see it's actually quite good. Next step will be our exfoliating products, and I'm gonna use Peel. It's a uh, let me see. Okay, this. It says that you should apply it on damp skin. Now, because my skin is sensitive, I either with this one or any other exfoliating products I don't apply on damp skin because the damp skin will improve the penetration and while it might be good for your moisturizer it's a quite bad idea for your exfoliating products rather often because it's more likely to cause irritation so, 10 minutes later that's how my skin looks like breakout that's another story about Tioris, I wanted to just say about the brand itself because I will show you two products for the routine today and I think it's important to see where they come from so they're very minimalistic type of brand very clear, quite clean I'll say they, they don't use that many ingredients into their products but what I find more interesting is that their products are seasonal in order to get this very nice gliding most of the brands will use oils and oils are not so great into penetration they might be emollient your skin might feel soft but no real nourishments rather often go deep into the skin so in order to add on some benefits I use serum underneath performing any kind of massage myself or for a client so what I will use underneath today is the other Sioris product see it's runny but not as much as water <laughs> For the massage today, I decided to use another oil, so I will use avocado oil. Direction is very important, so if gravitation pulls you down, you want to lift up. So everything goes upwards and towards the outsides. So center to border of the face and down to up. Now you might go downwards just to make sure that you have nice movements but the fact that I go down doesn't mean that I press downwards if this makes sense. So I press and then I move and then we go up. I'll say the best choices for areas are where you feel some tension. So very often it will be the jawline cheeks, forehead, just be careful around the eyes, you don't have to press a lot. Dragging because you're trying to save a product or you're worried because your skin is oily is not an option, you will not do anything good to yourself. And if you will use some serum underneath, bear in mind that some of the serums will, will not penetrate very well and if they leave some kind of film, once when you apply the oil, you might feel slightly particles, if you want to say, into the oil while performing the massage. The idea of the massage is obviously if there's any puffiness, to reduce it, to improve the blood circulation. This will bring more nutrition, more really blood into the face. So you might get a bit red. It depends from your skin, obviously. Pore filaments, plugs might come out. 
if you do a massage for say 15 minutes and your skin is oily it's very likely something like this to happen and you're just cleaning your skin in a very gentle way by binding the oil from your products to the oil into the skin and then pulling it out of the pores so actually it's a great choice and we are not going to leave it onto the skin if your skin is getting very irritated or you just don't enjoy or don't have the power to do a massage for yourself your other option is to use something like the roller i enjoy using it i don't do it too often because i don't have a lot of time i will try not to touch this part because it's still cold and i will use it for around the eyes but I don't think it's something that you have to spend a lot of money from. I know some of the brands like to say about the frequencies into the rock they use and then how it will affect your skin and <laughs> your mental health and whatever. Make sure that you always clean very nicely your tools, whether it's a roller it's a brush if you like to use them for the face i'm not a fan of those but everyone is different okay you can see it's all gone i'm not shiny it doesn't feel thick it doesn't feel greasy it feels very nice newish refresh and now we're gonna tone again feel so fresh is based on 72 percent jeju <laughs> citrus extract and i think that's why it really feels so refreshing it also has a black willow extract and this has slightly exfoliating properties okay that's my mask now very often those type of masks don't have a neck part and we do want to take care about our neck so what is left from the mask you just turn it around and try to squeeze everything what is left and for the last time we are going to tone with the serum it's depending what is your serum what are your concerns if your serum is not suitable for the area around the eyes then you should start with eye cream just to make sure because sometimes there is some residue left on the tips of the fingers it has shisandra fruit which sounds very weird it's called also uh, five flavor fruit because we apply quite a few things i am not going to apply eye cream if you want to do so please that's the time to do it that's the last product we're gonna use for today they say that it's a gel I think it's pretty a jelly because it does have this type of complex you can see it's not dropping <laughs> it's a very weird one I think it's super suitable for everyone especially if you have oily skin because it's something that will not stay on the skin I use this one actually during the day under my SPF because I am reapplying my SPF so I feel like if I apply a moisturizer which is heavy it just gets too much on the skin but your treatments are evening care so if you're going to do this kind of pampering treatment for yourself make sure that it is in the evening or you stay away from sun I will definitely say <laughs> Just do it in the evening in order to be on the safe side if you are going to exfoliate. I want to highlight that the base of your skincare is cleansing and SPF in the morning and cleansing, I'll say probably double cleansing and moisturizing in the evening. If you want to use exfoliating products, masks, toners, emotions, eye creams, whatever you can think about else will be add-on and it's something that if you want to spend 
time and money to do so you can absolutely do it but definitely cleansing SPF and moisturizer will be the base of the whole of your skincare routine whatever your skin concerns are whatever your skin type is I hope the information that I gave you was useful obviously you don't have to use all the steps you don't have to use exactly the same products this is some kind of guidance so this was based on my personal opinion my professional knowledge and I do hope you enjoy it please like the video share it subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos about skincare